The dependence of rural communities on external interventions for enhancing rural economy is a result of lack of opportunities. To improve the income levels and quality of life of the rural poor, DNRLM under the aegis of Ministry of Rural Development engaged rural women into self-help groups and its higher structures to generate livelihood opportunities. These community institutions provide various services like savings and credit, linkages with formal banking institutions, farm and non-farm based livelihood support services, market linkages etc. to their members. These community institutions with the help of state rural livelihood missions have trained and equipped around 3 lakh foot soldiers as frontline workers to execute various activities required to achieve the objective. Over the years, community institutions have matured and graduated from being beneficiaries to facilitate implementation of various schemes in rural areas across the country. SAG ecosystem is being effectively utilized to catalyze rural economy through various flagship programs like MGNR AGS, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Ujwala and Poshan Abhiyan, Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Bhima Suraksha Yojana, Atal Pension Yojana, Mahila Kisan Sashakti Karan Pari Yojana, Grameen Express Yojana and such other schemes benefiting crores of poor families. The strong network of 7 crore women have leveraged loans of more than Rs 3 lakh crores from banks, facilitated risk coverage to nearly 2 crore women with almost Rs 1200 crores as claim amount under the Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and Pradhan Mantri Bhima Suraksha Yojana, providing doorstep banking services in more than 1800 blocks and rural transportation 176 blocks, intensive support to more than 90 lakh Mahila Kisan and covered around 3 crore women under the Poshan Abhiyan to name a few. The shift in the role from being beneficiaries to partners in rural economy is also evident from the fact that SAGs contributed immensely during the emergency situation wherein they stepped and emerged as frontline workers in combating the COVID-19 pandemic. Not only did they create awareness on social distancing, masking, hand washing and maintaining personal hygiene, but they also provided COVID-19 training to 5 crore women members. SAG women took COVID-19 pandemic as an opportunity and took numerous initiatives as entrepreneurs starting from March 2020 when the pandemic first began. Collectively, and in the capacity of rural entrepreneurs, more than 3 lakh self-help group members produced 23 crore masks, 5 lakh litres of sanitizers, 1 lakh litre of hand wash and 36 lakh protective gears. About 12,000 community kitchens managed by SHGs have served over 3.93 crore vulnerable persons. In addition to all these income-generating activities, SHG women collectives like producer groups and producer enterprises have procured almost 18,000 metric tons of fruits and other agricultural products worth Rs 40 crores since April 2020. What was also addressed during these unprecedented times was door-to-door -door banking services by a cadre of financially trained business correspondent Sakhis. Despite all challenges in movement and lockdown, around 7,000 BC Sakhis from 15 states have facilitated 84 lakh transactions for PMGKY, DBT disbursement and other transactions worth Rs 1846 crores. All the facts summed up prove that women SRGs are the new emerging drivers of rural economy and banks shall be able to play a pivotal role in supporting these entrepreneurs. The ongoing initiatives are not only socially impactful but also financially beneficial to the rural segment of the society which will shape new India. Banks across the nation have been actively participating in leveraging women-centric businesses and the new economy post-pandemic calls for investment in micro-businesses. It won't be an exaggeration to say that self-help groups model is one of the important stakeholders in boosting rural economy and realizing the vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat.